Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. Well, hello, tubers. Hope you're doing well. It is a beautiful day here along the lakeshore, and I'm doing some fake hiking, you know. I want to give tribute to all those YouTubers that have done fake hikes in the past. So that's what we're doing today. But I figured while I was fake hiking, I could uh, talk about crime in the campgrounds. Yep, hard to believe there's even crime in the campgrounds. Mostly a lot of tomfoolery and thievery, but it does happen. So I want to give you some tips and tricks. So I want to talk about that today and don't want to see any of you victimized. There's always a lot of common items stolen. And I've stayed at a lot of campgrounds from Alaska to the Yukon, all over Canada and in the United States. So a lot of great campgrounds out there, privately run, government run. Most people are very honest. Most people even pretty friendly. I would say it's easier to make a new friend in a campground than it is in a city. But that being said, there be thieves out here in the campgrounds. Number one on the hit parade is portable generators, especially those coveted portable Honda generators. They're always getting pinched. <laughs> Just the other day on the weekend, had a neighbor who buggered off for the day, left his sitting outside. I wasn't home part of the day either. I was out with my murder cycle. So I figured I'd have a little chat with the dude because he was a city slicker. Uh, he, he actually <laughs> even parked his camper at an angle. He actually didn't even realize he could actually level the trailer that he bought. It looked fairly new and the way they behaved and how they dressed, they were city slickers. So um, typically this is how it goes. Uh, city slicker comes and he goes camping. He gets his uh, generator stolen and next thing you know, he leaves a negative review for the campground operator. It's not the campground operator's fault that you decided to go golfing all day and you left your expensive generator out and somebody pinched it. So I gave him a heads up and said, hey, dude, don't be doing that. I've seen so many of them disappear forever. Those things are easily converted into cash. Next thing that I've seen that a value that are always disappearing is uh, sporting goods. Things like, um, you know, kayaks, canoes, especially the expensive light ones, if you know what I'm saying, because, you know, thieves are fairly lazy. They don't want to hurt their back too much, so if you got one of those super ultra lightweight, uh, you know, ocean kayaks or something, <laughs> gone. They just throw it in the back of the truck. Remember, this is Canada. Pick-me-up trucks are pretty common. This isn't like New York City where, you know, a Ram pickup truck is fairly rare. <laughs> so, people are opportunistic thieves. They just, uh, you know, many of the thieves actually don't even stay here. They just scout around through the, you know, campgrounds, see what's going on, see who's home, see who's not. And if the coast is clear, they just pull up with the truck, throw it in the back, and off it goes. So, thieves don't really target me, because I don't trust the damn soul. <laughs> and what I do is uh, I keep the camera running and don't leave any valuable stuff outside, period. Now, another thing that always goes disappearing is those expensive bicycles. You know, the name brand ones, Cannondale, whatever. They pinch it and throw it in the back of their truck and hide it, or in the back of their RV and hide it, never to be seen again. And they're the people that when you uh, ask them, hey, did you see anybody steal my bike? They go, oh, no, no, please, please tell me more. Oh, how awful that is for that to happen to you. That's the kind of jerks you got. But again, most people are very honest in campgrounds. Another strange yet very creepy thing that I have seen happen in campgrounds, although very rare, is the phenomenon of, how can I put this, um, strange men crawling into the uh, outhouses and watching women defecate, maybe even men, don't know. I uh, actually have encountered an individual that did this during my professional life working with, uh, let's just say, 
ugly people in the justice system. <laughs> yeah, it actually has happened, probably happened several times, probably happened in many places, probably happened with more than just this guy. It's odd, it's peculiar, and it's disgusting. And um, this person was prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I don't know what gets into some of these camper pampers, so to speak. Another thing people need to keep aware of is that their children are often running around with their little bicycles in these campgrounds all over the place. And there are these uh, jerkwads, let's just call them, that um, in spite of the campground having a narrow dirt road, they think it's the uh, Interstate 5 freeway. And they uh, not only want to kick up dust, but they want to potentially kill your children. Maybe even you, maybe your dog. Who knows? There's a lot of crazy campers that are in such a hurry. They're generally city slickers, kind of like that person driving by. Oh, they actually were moving at a reasonable speed. They actually could have gone a little slower, but they were within the bounds of the reasonable people. Yeah, actually probably the only reason that that guy actually went a little slower was because there was another guy ahead of him. But there are some crazy people in these campgrounds that uh, think that the uh, speed limit laws don't even apply, no matter where you are in the campground. But yeah, um, it's, it's a horrible thing and it does happen. People get run over in campgrounds from people that a uh, little liquored up, a little too um, rambunctious to get to their campsite and are driving too fast for conditions, especially on these small gravel roads that the campgrounds have. Oh, Sammy's all excited because she knows I've loaded the beast up, got the pig all loaded up. We're headed further out into the hinterland tomorrow. So I figured I'd get the loading procedure done early so that I don't have to fight with the bike in the morning. So, beautiful day here, weather's fantastic. Heading further into the Canadian remote hinterland tomorrow. So, I just wanna remind you folks, just remember, keep your uh, wits when you're camping because there are some people that wanna steal your nice stuff that you got that you worked hard to pay for. Don't let that happen. It's just wrong when that minority of people do that because most campers are reasonable and honest people but there's a small slice that are incorrigible and will always steal when they can. So in the meantime folks stay safe keep your woes on the ground I'll talk to you soon over and out.